Hello, my name is Daniel Ceballos, and uh, this is not a vlog. This is a short message uh, to kind of explain why I've been absent in the last couple weeks. I've been dealing with some really bad depression uh, for the last couple weeks, and it's kept me from wanting to do anything, like literally anything. I was diagnosed with depression back when I was 16. Uh, that was 1996. Um, been hospitalized twice for attempted suicide back in 96 and 2003. During those times uh, being hospitalized, I received some really good counseling and uh, it helped me deal with the way I deal with my feelings and um, it let me know that I will never get back uh, to that place where I'm attempting suicide. I'll never attempt suicide again. But that doesn't mean that I don't uh, have suicidal thoughts because I wrestle with those a lot. I've been off medication since about 1998 because I, at the time I felt like I couldn't handle it. And to, for the most part that's true, but I still deal with some really bad, some really bad depression and suicidal thoughts. Um, I mean, you know, I'm sure a lot of you probably deal with the same kind of stuff. You know, same depression, same kind of thoughts, suicidal or otherwise. Um, and you don't know how to deal with it, you know. And I just, I kind of the purpose of this video is to let you know, I mean, you're not alone. Right? During this time, I know Christmas is coming, the holiday seasons, if you don't celebrate Christmas or whatever. Um, but you're not alone, you know. Um, I know when we go through this time, it's very difficult because we're so in our heads and we're so you know, focus on, on that feeling that it's hard to, um, you know, see all the other, see all the good that's around you that you already have. And that's the thing for me is that, wow, I've come in, like, I'm going through all this stuff and I can't believe that I'm neglecting all the good in my life, you know? Um, and sometimes I'm ashamed that I feel this way because, I mean, I have, to be honest, I have a pretty good life, you know? I have uh, two beautiful sons. Uh, I have an 18-year-old and I have an 18-month-old, and I love them with all my heart. And I have my wonderful wife. I have a roof over my head. I'm not being bombed, literally being bombed on by my own government. You know, when I think of the things that are happening, you know, in Syria and Aleppo and all that stuff, I, I don't know how I can even complain, you know. But I live in here sometimes, and that's all I can focus on. And so... You know, that, that makes it hard. But you know what helps? Having great people to surround yourself with. I have a great group of friends, and I have a brother who <laughs> is amazing and, and, and really does love me, and we really have a great time when we talk and, and kind of just hash all these things out, you know? And he shows me the love that I need, which I am truly grateful for. And so, so do my friends. Um, thank you so much for those conversations and really inspiring me and uh, kind of lifting me out of this whole thing. And I wasn't going to do this video because, um, you know, I started feeling better. And not only that, but because, like, I felt like I didn't have the answers. I, 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 why should I bring something up that I don't have the answers to? But I didn't want to neglect the fact that there are tons of people out there right now feeling the same way. The thing is that what was told to me was great that like, I don't need to have the answers, but what this could be used for is to start a conversation. And so I'd like to do that. If you're feeling, if you're wrestling with depression, if you're wrestling with suicidal thoughts, um, let's talk about it. Get those feelings out there. Uh, I would like this channel to be something where we can talk back and forth to one another. If all these other people that are watching this video are feeling the same way, share what, what comforts you and what gets you by, you know, and maybe it, it can help others. You never know. You never know who's watching these sort of things, you know? And so I kind of wanted to just uh, be honest about these feelings and not hide them away. So uh, that's what I'm doing. Um, and during that time, I kind of was thinking about a bunch of other things. You know, I was thinking about the channel because I didn't want to do anything, but it 
I can't stop thinking about this channel, I really can't. But it's forced me to change um, my channel name. I'm now using my own name, my personal name, instead of hello my name is. Um, I might use that down the line for something else. Um, but right now, I felt like hello my name is was kind of, I don't know, uh, trapping me in some sort of way. It, it, because I felt like I had to start all my videos by saying, oh, hello, my name is, which seems like the most natural thing to do. But when I want to say, hey, you guys, thanks for coming to my channel. You know, my name is Daniel Ceballos. I feel like I'm, I'm straying away from whatever formula you can have after six videos. But I wanted to free myself from that. So I'm just using my name, Daniel Ceballos, from now on. And uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit freeing. So I'm going to do another video. I'm going to do a video right after this. I just wanted to put out a short, a short message to anybody that's going through it right now. You're not alone. But do me a favor. Even though things can seem really dark and really bleak sometimes, uh, just know that if you wait a little while longer and you actually put in some effort, you might find that your situation will change. Things will get better. I promise you there's always a light at the end of the tunnel that you're in. Okay. Sometimes we just live in our minds and we can't see what's actually going on around us. Okay. It's, we got to step out of there. We got to take a look around. Because if we're just living in here, there's just nothing but darkness in there. So we got to see the light. Okay. I love you guys. And please find the help. If you need help, find some help. Okay. I promise you, things will get better. All right. I love you guys. And I'll see you soon. Take care.